Hey guys, I've talked to you about the modes before, but I've never really gone into detail about the Phrygian sounds. Check it out. I lift my hands in Such a cool way to end the song, but this idea is a Phrygian idea. See, there are multiple ways to voice a chord, and in fact, as soon as you start learning your triads and your seven chords, you should start experimenting with how you can voice different chords. The focus of my intermediate course on my website is showing you all the ways that you can voice a major chord. So check that out if you're on the website. But it's not just major chords. You can do the same thing with minor chords, dominant chords. And a lot of times you could ask yourself, you know, how many different ways can I play this one chord? But for today, we're going to focus on a unique way to voice a major chord. And we're going to just talk about this Phrygian sound. So typically I like to use this to end the song. So here's how to play the sound. Let's say we're in the key of C. Let's do Mary Had a Little Lamb. As fleece was white as snow, and I need to get to the C, and I don't just want to end on a C chord. And so I'm going to use a sound that sounds like this. And as you can see, clearly the, the screen says a C chord here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this is, a, this is the way I like to end it. And if you notice, I did a run and I, and I did that on purpose because I wanted you to see the notes. Because So someone's going to ask, what if I'm playing a different key? How do I find out the notes in the Phrygian scale? And this is what I'm going to show you. So basically, here's what you do. Let's form a C Phrygian scale. So you want to go to the C. The notes in the C Phrygian scale are C. D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, and C. And you may recognize these as the same notes that are in an A flat scale, but it's just starting on the C. So someone's going to ask, well, what if I'm playing a different key? How do I form, how do I find out the notes in the Phrygian scale? So basically, here's what you do. Let's form a C. Phrygian scale. You want to go to the C and you simply go down four half steps. So count four. One, two, three to the left. Four. There you go. A flat and you're going to do a major scale on that note on the A flat. So remember a major scale, A flat major scale would be A flat, B flat, C, B flat, E flat, F, G, and A flat. But you want to start on the C. So you're starting on the third note of the major scale. That's where those notes come from. But if we wanted F Phrygian, we would go to F, we would go down four, one, two, three, four, play the notes of a D flat major scale. Let's start on the F. And just by doing that, you have a Phrygian sound. So now I'm going to give you steps to use these in an actual song. Three easy steps. So what we need is a top note, we need the bottom note, and we need the notes in the middle. The top note is going to be the note that you end on. It's the tonic note. It's the key that you're in. So Mary had a little lamb, fleece was white as snow. The song's in the key of C. You want that C at the top. For the bottom note, all you need to do is go down one or two octaves. I'm going to go down here and go up a half step. So now the top note is a C, but the bottom note would be a D flat since I went up a half step. Okay, the notes in the middle would be the notes in the C Phrygian scale, which would be the same notes in an A flat major scale. And it sounds really good. And this is what the Phrygian sound is. So let's do that again. Now that we know how to do that and let's use the Phrygian in C. So let's do Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow.
Let's see. And I kept it real simple. And, and all I did was start on the C, had the C at the top, had a C sharp at the bottom, and just really ran up the scale. That's why I did that run at the beginning, because I was just really running up an A flat major scale. Happy birthday to you. Let's do the F. Remember F Phrygian, here are the notes on the screen. It's the same notes in the D flat major. Let me just address something, because some of you may be saying, okay, I get it, it's just the Phrygian, so I can just, I'm in F, I play a D flat scale. That's, that's not quite it. You're not playing a D flat scale. You're playing the notes in a D flat scale. You're playing an F scale, right? When you, when you end the song for happy birthday, you know, happy birthday to you, you don't want to go to a D flat. You're not trying to get into a cadence here. You're playing an F scale. You're using the notes in an F scale. It needs to sound like it's an F, but you're using the notes in a D flat scale, but it's an F scale. And so this is what we mean by modal playing because it needs to sound like it's an F. And how do you do that? And this is one of the reasons why I said, you know, put that, um, the bass note up a, a half step, because what I'm trying to do is maintain this this sound like you're still an F, even though you're using the notes within a D flat scale. And this is the beauty and the power of playing in modes is because you're not just saying, oh, I'm, I'm in a D flat scale. You're using D flat notes, but you're thinking in F. <laughs> you gotta still be an F and you want the listener to say, oh, he's still an F. Okay, so happy birthday, da da da. birthday you see what I did there so that time I'm, I'm really thinking modally here I know <laughs> that the song's an F I got that F on the top, and, sh and Sean says start a half step above. But I'm thinking D flat notes, I'm thinking F Phrygian, it's a modal sound. And what, what I'm showing you today is something I like to call modal playing. And you know, if you like this kind of stuff, check out the Lydian mode, the Locrian mode on my channel. Um, those are great. So do me a favor and, and, and hit that like button if you like it. But for everybody else, go experiment with this Phrygian sound. We'll see you guys next week.